frustrated by your small closet and that feeling like you don't have the right clothes to be stylish, then you're probably ready to transform your clutter chaos with a closet clean out. Join me on a decluttering journey that goes beyond clearing out clothes to unlock the secrets to creating a wardrobe that sparks joy, frees up space, and has the power to change your life. Let's dive into this adventure and create your fashion sanctuary together. It's your girl Jordan Blackwell, materials engineer turned lifestyle content creator, sharing how to be chic. I am sharing with you my quick and easy process for doing a a wardrobe clean out with renter friendly tips for a chic closet because this is where to start if you want great style and to transform into that girl so let's dive into my small messy closet that i cannot renovate because i am a renter to show you how to remove the clutter improve your style and a few ways to make a little money in the process there are a couple of key steps that you cannot miss out on in order for this process to go smoothly and first is to get your mind right and i know you're probably thinking like jordan we're cleaning out a closet what about that has to do with my mental everything the thing is to do this right you're going to have to put on every single piece of clothing item that you own do not be intimidated by that you can absolutely work in sections i'm going to be showing you the best way to tackle that so you do not feel overwhelming you do not feel frustrated and you actually find joy in the process but to really get the most out of this process not just to improve your style but really transform your life and learn key skills that can really help you become that girl that baddie take you to that next level you are going to have to go through every single piece next you need to be ruthless okay i am a virgo and i'm here to confirm the stories are true the way that i can look at something and decide this no longer serves me and leave it with the quickness is real if you are not that person though that is okay this is where you need to enlist the help of a friend who's going to be objective because you need someone who's going to help you see past the emotional ties that you're going to have to your pieces to let you know what's working for you and what isn't and keep in mind yes you are going to be letting go of pieces but just because you are letting go of a piece that used to serve you the memories do not fade and lastly and the most important in my opinion you have to set the mood okay you do not want to go in this thinking it is a chore you do not want to go in this thinking like uh i have to clean my closet this is going to take forever this is going to be awful put on some feel-good music pour yourself a drink whether that's coffee or tea or something a little bit stronger whatever your preference is even set out snacks the goal really should be that you want this to feel like you are going to have a luxury styling experience at your favorite store so you want to get in the mood where you make this enjoyable for yourself. You want to come correct, okay? Because you don't want to carry any negative energy about yourself or your clothes to your closet as you're going through this process. Now let's get started. Like I mentioned, we're going to be working in sections. If you have a larger closet, don't let that overwhelm you, okay? If you need to break it up into a couple of days, a couple of sessions, that may sound like a lot, but consider this. Because you're going to be new to this process, just like anything else, you're not born knowing how to do this stuff. So give yourself some grace and also make sure you have time to do it right. Right? because when you do this right you're gonna get so much insights not just about your wardrobe but about yourself that's gonna help you reach that next level to really transform yourself right the other thing is the goal here is to have a wardrobe that you love and that like your health is a lifelong journey it is not a sprint okay so at first this may take a little longer than you anticipated however the more you do this the more comfortable you get with this the faster this process will be and for me i do a deep dive process once a year but then because i do it right i only have to go and check in and it takes less than an hour every time after that before i share with you how to get through your wardrobe quick how to make this efficient but how to also still have fun while you're doing it there are six questions you are going to have to ask yourself about each and every piece and these are really going to help you to clear out the clutter this is going to help you to really get honed in zoned in on your style on your wardrobe and in touch with yourself. The very first question you need to ask yourself is, does this fit me with zero effort? And yes, I said zero. I know that is a large task. However, nine times out of 10, the reason you probably hate your clothes, the reason you feel like you have nothing to wear is because you have to fuss with a lot of your clothes because they just don't fit you right, okay? Now here's the thing. It is okay if something like doesn't fit you with zero effort. That doesn't mean it instantly has to get thrown out. The question really here is why this is important when you do wanna identify pieces that just take a little bit more work to style you also want to identify why they might take a little bit more work to style do they just not fit right is it too tight is it too small you're really looking for why exactly you feel like this piece doesn't fit you with zero effort from there you're going to decide are you willing to put in that effort whether that is to go take your clothes to the tailor or put on shapewear anything like that if the answer to that is no there's only one question that i'm sharing later on in this list that will trump this question because in my opinion if you are not comfortable with an item of clothing out the gate you should let it go. That is one of the key habits of confident women who always look chic, who always look put together. They are comfortable in their clothes with little effort because they buy clothes or they get their clothes tailored to fit them to be comfortable. The second question you need to ask yourself is, how often do I wear this piece? Now, every piece 
doesn't need to be worn every day obviously right but your clothes should be getting worn at least a couple of times a year there are a few exceptions of course and that is really for like event pieces right so you have gala dresses black tie dresses bridesmaids dresses those pieces obviously you probably will not wear multiple times a year however most of your pieces should be getting worn most of the time number three is what is this material made out of as a materials engineer girly this is actually really important as you're putting on all your pieces because as you're learning why pieces are or are not comfortable which pieces you wear often which ones you don't part of the reason that probably is is because what the piece is made out of the actual material go ahead and look at the tag and start paying attention to what fabrics you like to wear, what fabrics you feel amazing in, and also pay attention to how long those are lasting. This is important information, not just for the clothes that you have, but as you're introducing new clothes, you can figure out what fabrics you should look for. And because you've looked at your closet, you're familiar with your pieces, you can kind of guess how long those pieces are going to last you to decide if they're worth spending the money on the price tag. Is does this reflect who I am? Now this question goes deeper than a lot of wardrobe detox videos I've seen. And this is where you really need to be ruthless because this is where the transformation is going to start we all have an ideal self that woman we want to show up as who we want to be how we want to be perceived however not everybody is ready or willing to show up as her and this is why you need to be honest here as you're looking at these pieces and you're looking at what's comfortable what you're wearing and answering does this reflect who i am you need to be honest you need to recognize is my ideal self really a better version of me or is it an entirely different version of me that i'm not even close to this is going to be very eye-opening because now you're going to be confronted with the fact that you may not be showing up as your ideal self even though you are buying pieces for your ideal self and you now need to decide if you're actually going to start wearing those pieces that you want to be wearing or if you're going to pivot and start to wear what works for where you currently are now in the lifestyle that you have now. And there is no wrong answer. You can look great and look stylish and look amazing either way you go, but this is truly something you have to recognize and be honest with yourself about. But the most important question you're gonna ask yourself in this process, number five, how does this piece make me feel? To me, this is the trump question. Even if a piece of clothing doesn't fit me right, even if I don't wear it often, as long as it reflects my true self and it brings me not just joy, but I feel amazing, unstoppable, powerful, in that piece it truly makes me feel inspired it's allowed to say my closet if a piece makes you feel like that it deserves a space in your wardrobe absolutely hands down but again this is something you have to be truly honest with yourself about okay it's one thing like oh i feel sexy or oh okay i look good it's another to be like no i feel like the baddest b in this piece nothing about this piece makes me feel self-conscious nothing about this piece makes me question anything this piece no matter what i'm doing in it makes me feel immaculate that needs to be how you feel okay if it is not that please don't lie to yourself and try and convince yourself it is that regardless of how much you spent on it regardless of what the piece means to you don't lie to yourself here definitely don't and the last question is just something that i think a lot of people overlook too does this piece need to be amended or repaired in the future right you're just taking stock of the piece itself is it stained is it worn is it something that you love enough and is going to need to be replaced? Now that you know the six questions, if you're finding this video valuable, you are feeling like this is useful, do me a quick favor, boop the like button. That's a free way to let me know that this video is useful for you. And it lets the algorithm know this is a good video to help other people who are ready to transform their style, their closet, who are looking for how to do a closet clean out to transform their wardrobe, their style, and their lives. Now that we covered the six questions and why those are important, let's move into the actual process. What is the best order to quickly go through your wardrobe clean out, to quickly get through your clothes, so that you can try them all on, ask those questions, plus some bonus questions that are really gonna help you refine your style even further. Now, here is the way to quickly go through your wardrobe clean out so that this is fast and efficient because one thing about an engineer, we're gonna find a way to make this fast and efficient because baby, we are not trying to waste all day. And I know that if you can get through this process quickly, it's gonna feel less frustrating. You're gonna have more fun with it and it's not gonna be overwhelming. So here's the order you need to go through your closet section by section to do a clean out. First, start with your accessories, your bags, your sunglasses, your hats, your scarves, your gloves, your shoes, and your jewelry. The reason that you wanna do these first, they are the easiest to get on and off. They're gonna be the quickest that you can go through. You're gonna power through that so quick because you're gonna know whether or not these fit you. You're gonna know whether or not these really reflect your style. And you're really more looking for whether or not these pieces still reflect who you are, you love them and if they need to be mended or replaced. These are really great to do first because it's a really easy win. Next, you're gonna move into your outerwear. Think coats, think jackets, blazers, cardigans, vests. Again, these are just gonna be easy to throw on. You're gonna be able to see yourself in a mirror, snap your quick picture, and yes, snap a picture. 
and you're gonna be able to tell if they fit and again power through those questions really really quickly after that you're gonna move into your tops and your sweaters these should be fairly simple as well except for those really intricate night out tops that you bought for that one time and that one party but baby it might still look good so we're gonna try it out or some of those body suits that just be a little bit of a struggle but again try on everything this includes your workout wear your loungewear tops all the tops no matter the category try them all on after that you're going to move into bottoms i suggest starting with the skirts first then moving into shorts before moving into your pants i know pants can be a little bit frustrating trust me i have a whole series just on shopping for denim because the struggle is real this is going to be a little bit more challenging but feel free at any point to take a dance break take a sip of your drink now mom whatever snacks you have again you want this to be an enjoyable experience so do not rush your way through this. Make sure that you are asking all six of those questions. Make sure that you are really being intentional as you're trying on each piece. After you've worked your way through those sections, you're gonna wanna move into your dresses, your rompers, and your jumpsuits. Again, this also includes like your casual wear as well. These are gonna be a little bit more complicated to get in and out. I know with these pieces, you might be wearing shapewear as well. That's why these are also last because if you are feeling like you do not like how these fit by themselves, but you are someone who is willing to put on shapewear. That gives you a little bit more time to do that and, and be objective as well. Then last, but certainly not least, go through your lingerie and your swimsuits, baby. Those have to be gone through as well, because trust me, part of a really great outfit is having the right foundation, the right bra, the right underwear. I'm actually going to put together a whole video on that, especially as a small chested, big bootied, pear shaped girly. Trust me, the right lingerie is absolutely imperative and same with your swimsuit. Make sure you are ruthless here. If there are pieces that truly are beyond repair, let them go, replace those bras, baby let it go and like i mentioned there are bonus questions you need to be asking yourself at the end of each section there's just three but they're very important to again really take your style to that next level to really transform your understanding of yourself and your wardrobe so the very first question is what are pieces that i keep buying that i don't wear and the follow-up question to that is why might that be as you're going through this process and you're putting clothes your keep your mend your donate or sale pile you're probably going to start seeing some themes Pay attention to what those themes are. Please, please, please don't gloss that over. Pay attention to those pieces you feel like you buy a lot. Are they for an ideal self that no longer is serving you? Are they made of the same kind of fabric, the same kind of materials? Really pay attention to those things. The second question that you really wanna ask yourself is, are there pieces missing to help complete my looks? This is something that you're gonna notice as you are starting to build the mend repair pile or starting to donate stuff. Now you might be creating some holes in your wardrobe. That is okay. If you are finding that, hey, I actually don't have a good pair of black boots or I am missing just a good black top to kind of pull my looks together, make sure that you're noting that as well because what this is gonna help you be is more intentional as you start adding clothes to your wardrobe. It's gonna help you impulse buy less because you're gonna have a more specific idea of what you need in your wardrobe versus I just don't feel like I have anything cute so I'm just gonna go out and buy anything. And the last thing that you should be picking up and you should be questioning is how much of my closet is actually getting worn? As you're going through these sections, really pay attention to how many of your pieces are your everyday pieces versus how many pieces you feel like just get worn here and there. This is also going to be an indicator of how you shop as well. Are you buying pieces that don't serve you? Are you somebody who is impulse shopping? It's going to help you highlight the kind of shopper that you are. It's going to help you again start to really look at your wardrobe a little bit differently. Not just is this functional, not just does this look good, but again, am I actually spending money on pieces that I am wearing consistently? And is how much I'm spending on pieces making sense for how much I'm wearing them? That is really the key. Like, let me say that again. Is how much I'm spending on these pieces, does that make sense for how much I'm actually wearing them? And that's really, really important. I know I'm throwing a lot at you. Please, at any time, feel free to pause, rewatch any sections that you need to, because again, this is a lot of information and I wanna make sure that you are picking up what you need to pick up. And also feel free to revisit this whenever you are doing another wardrobe clean out to make sure that you are doing it correctly some super quick tips for my fellow renters who have small closets let me help you out with just a couple of things if you want a full in-depth video on that leave me a comment let me know i'll happily make like a full guide of how i maximize and get the most out of my small closet because as you see i'm not working with much but i make it work the first thing is to get all the same hangers now there is of course a great debate on the best kind of hangers i personally like the velvet hangers as you are seeing i feel like these are great while they are space saving i know some people like the wooden hangers as well those tend to take up more space but they do allow you to see more of your wardrobe go with whatever makes the most sense to you but just having the same type of hangers really really helps the second thing is to organize your pieces in a way that makes sense to you now there's three different ways that you can actually do that one is the outfit method so what that basically is is you put your tops your pants and any outerwear together to create 
different outfits so that when you reach into your closet, you have outfits already ready to go. You don't have to think about it. They're just pre-arranged for you. This is really, really great if you are somebody who is in a rush. You really don't wanna have to do a lot of thinking. You have like a set uniform that just works for you and you do not mind wearing a lot of the same things. The second option is to arrange it by color. So putting all the same colors together just so that you can see all the pieces in the different colors that will help you to easily color coordinate and mix and match. This is perfect whether you are somebody with a capsule wardrobe that has a couple of different colors or if you have a more colorful bold style, it can help you to see all the pieces in one place as well as mix and match to see if they'll work. The third option is by piece type. So putting your tops together, your blazers together, your pants together, you get the idea. I actually do a combination of the last two. So I do it by piece and then arrange the pieces by color. So I go from short sleeves to long sleeves, cropped to longer length, and then arrange all of those by color. That seems to be the easiest for me because as I pick pieces, I kind of already know what I'm working with in terms of putting together outfits, but again, Find what works best for you. Number three, pants hangers are your friends, not just for pants, but for dresses as well as you are seeing. I love to use pants hangers to give me more space and be able to see more of my pieces. And these work really great for dresses as well. Next is to only keep seasonal pieces in your closet. I, in fact, as you are seeing, have a whole second closet in my studio space. I actually use a lot of this for storage. So I only have one small section that I have dedicated to out of season clothing, but that helps to keep my small closet nice and organized with pieces that are wearable for this season. Instead of trying to cram it all into one closet, if you don't really have a spare closet, consider a dresser, consider using the space underneath your bed. There are a couple of different options that you can play with, but keeping what you're actually gonna wear for the current season in the closet that you're using will save you a lot of space. The last little quick tip is just to alternate your shoe directions as you're seeing with my boots. This will free up enough space to squeeze at least one more pair of boots or shoes in your closet on the floor. This is my sneaky hack. I actually use this on my shoe shelf as well to fit another pair or two of shoes in tight spaces. No one likes the feeling of spending money, not looking put together, feeling like their pieces just don't work. If you feel like you just really are still struggling, no one likes feeling lost out there. If you're looking for specific advice, pieces to buy, roundups for good quality new and pieces that don't break the budget, that will work for your wardrobe, make sure that you sign up for my email list, I share monthly newsletters, not only giving you discounts on pieces you already plan to buy, but also sharing exclusive content, the best new in pieces, classic styles, but more bold styles, as well as specific advice on putting outfits together and outfit ideas outside of what I share on all my other platforms. So definitely make sure that you have signed up for my newsletter. There's a link for that in the description below. But the secret really for how this is going to not only transform your style, but your life because I'm sure you're probably like, okay, but we're just cleaning out a closet. Let me help you reframe this and why this really is transformative. One, not only did you decide that you want it better for yourself, but you're acting on it. And let me applaud you because so many people can recognize they want better, but don't do anything about it. And even the simple act of cleaning out your closet, going through your clothes, that is a step towards being your ideal self. And the hardest part is starting and you have started. So congratulations, like this is the first step on that journey to really becoming the woman, the person you wanna be. Second, you're learning to identify things you like and things you don't like and patterns about yourself. If you did this process right, you were asking those questions, taking those notes, then you were paying attention to the things that you like, the things that you don't like, and also identifying why you might be falling into some of the patterns that you keep falling into when it comes to shopping. And this is an important skill that you can apply to other areas of your life as well. Not only that, you're learning to listen to your intuition and to be honest with yourself. That can be so hard, especially in this world. We're getting so many different people telling us what to wear, what to buy, what to do. You are learning how to listen to yourself, especially through a process that can be frustrating, that can be hard because you want to feel good and you might not be there yet, but you are learning to listen to your intuition about what is working for you and what isn't and you're honest about that with yourself. And that honesty is helping you to identify what isn't serving you. And not just that, not just that. And that's a really big thing too, being able to identify when something is no longer serving you, but you are learning to accept that and how to let it go. That is hard. Look at how many people hoard clothes who cannot get rid of those skinny jeans that used to fit way back in high school 10 years ago. Woo, a little bit longer than that for me. Or that dress you wore that night out you met that guy. It is important to recognize that something once served you, appreciate that it served you, but also recognize when it's time to let it go and actually letting it go. That is an important skill that again, you can apply to other areas of your life. So you are now having done this process one step closer to being who you wanna be. And I am so proud of you for taking that step because again, it can be hard, it can be scary, 
it can be frustrating you can feel overwhelming you might feel like you wanted to walk away a couple of times in this process but you didn't and that baby i'm proud of you and that is how you're going to start transforming your life now the condensed version of this having gone through the process you're probably like okay cool but i'm not trying to do this every single time don't worry because now that you've gone through all your clothes you've taken the pictures you know what's in your closet and you are also hopefully going to be more mindful as you add pieces to your closet as well so what this looks like when the next season rolls around is instead of having to try everything on put everything on and go through that process you now already know what's in your closet what's fitting you you're really just paying attention to how often are you wearing it you should be noticing hey i'm actually not wearing this piece as much and now you're questioning is it because it no longer is a reflection of me is it because it doesn't fit you're going to be able to easily identify pieces you aren't wearing why you aren't wearing them and again, if something has changed between like, this is no longer my ideal self or this no longer is bringing me joy, you can then go ahead and snap your pictures so that you can make some money because that's the next step. I know you're like, JB, you have bought up making money a couple of times. What are you talking about? So again, if you follow my process right, you took pictures of all the pieces of clothing. You probably have a pile of clothes that you no longer want. You can go ahead and make money off of that, babe. Don't just go run to like Goodwill or Salvation Army. You can actually go ahead and make some money off of these clothes. You already have done the hardest step, which is taking pictures of the pieces. You can create a Poshmark account. You can list these on eBay. There are tons of Facebook marketplaces where you can go ahead and list these clothes really quickly. Make anywhere from a couple hundred bucks to a couple thousand bucks, depending on the pieces, how good of shape they're in, and of course, just how many pieces that you have. So that is the other bonus about doing this too. Not only are you gonna have a closet that is cleaner, that is more organized, but maybe you can also make a little bit more money to treat yourself to a nice dinner, to treat yourself to a reward for going through this process because you absolutely deserve it. In fact, if you feel that way, hit the like button or better yet, subscribe. That is a free indicator to me that you are finding this information valuable. In fact, I'm actually gonna put you onto my outfit series. This is where you're gonna learn to maximize the pieces in your closet different outfit ideas, ways to style pieces that you already own, tips and tricks on how to put outfits together to work for your body, to look flattering, to look amazing. So go ahead and click on either one of these videos to continue your wardrobe transformation journey.